Hi you guys, let's do a review on how to make that pumpkin pie filling. So, you have your one pie shell all ready to go, and that was in a previous video. So let's talk about how to make sure you mix the ingredients properly. So, in a big mixing bowl, I have my one and a half cups of pumpkin puree. Let me get out. I want to get out a rubber scraper and a whisk. So. Culinary three, remember, this is that homemade pumpkin puree you made by roasting one of the baby pumpkins. So we're going to add the pumpkin puree right into the bowl. Okay, so one and a half cups. And again, it, because it's a solid, we are using a dry measuring cup to measure it correctly. And then into here, what I want you to add next is your brown and your white sugar. And I want you to mix that in really well. Go ahead and even make sure your brown sugar is nicely crumbled. And I'm going to add all of my spices and a little quarter teaspoon. I'm going to go with a heavy pinch of that salt. So the only thing I haven't added are my eggs. And I'm going to talk to you about, on the recipe, it has a mixture of cream and uh, half and half. I am going to use something that's a little bit easier now because we're not doing it. It's called evaporated milk. You guys can buy it out of a can. Um, it's, you want to measure seven ounces, which is half a can. And that's going to help take place of the cream and the milk that we are the heavy cream that we would have been using. Now, if you have the other two ingredients available, use them. But this is just in case you don't want to buy a big thing of cream and a big thing of uh, the half and half. So the first thing I'd like you to do is to go ahead and mix that uh, sugar and everything in really well until you have no lumps. Okay, so you can see it's well pureed. And then go ahead and add in your two eggs. And again, using that whisk, break it up and combine it really well. All right, so again, you wanted to make sure you've whisked those eggs in there really well because you don't want to see the yolk or the egg white around in that filling. Now what I want to make sure you do is get rid of your whisk at this point because we're going to add that evaporated milk and I want you to go back to your rubber scraper and then go ahead going around the bowl and then mixing that evaporated milk in there really well. If it was a cream and you use that whisk then you'd start to curdle it and it would start to thicken up too much so we don't want to do that. Go ahead and just spin it. Make sure you go around the edges. If you start to see any of that white, then you haven't mixed it well enough and continue to mix. The other thing I've done is I've gone and stuck my pie shell on a half sheet pan. Don't pour your mixture in your pie pan and then try to mix it. That pan can fold on you and then you wouldn't be able to move it. So. Okay, I think I'm mixed really well. You can see I don't have any streaks of white. Everything's in there. Go ahead and pour all that filling right inside. Go ahead and scrape out your bowl. Okay, get everything in there. And that's beautiful. Now I have my oven preheated 350 degrees. And it's going to take uh, 45 minutes to an hour. So set the timer for 45 minutes. And what you're looking for is that your top has gone from this kind of shiny raw to a flat, uh, dull kind of mixture. Then when you stick a knife or a toothpick in the middle, it should come out clean. So I'll set the timer for 45 minutes and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done baking. Okay, I wanted to show you, I just pulled that pumpkin pie out of the oven and that was 45 minutes. And what I want you to look for is you're looking for, again, that crust is gonna be golden brown. Remember, like I said, we can't see anything 
underneath it. Now, if you can see how to test it, first of all, everything across the top has gone dull. So you're looking at the color of it. I don't have any cracks. If it starts to crack, it kind of started to souffle, which means that it may be your oven was a little too hot and it cooked a little bit too fast. I'm kind of giving it a little jiggle test. Nothing's looking like waves. It's not watery. Um, you could then now take a butter knife. You would put a crack in your pie. So if you don't want to do that, mine's perfectly flat, but you could stick a butter knife in the middle, pull it out. If none of the filling sticks to it, you're done. Okay. If you pull it out and you still have wet pumpkin filling stuck to it, put it back in for another five minutes and check it again. Okay. And you might have to check it in another spot, but remember it does cook from the outside to the center. So that center is really where you want to check. So it's done. It needs to sit at room temperature until you can touch it. So maybe an hour, hour and a half, and then it needs to go into the refrigerator to chill for about four hours before you serve. You can serve it cold, or you can let it sit at room temperature for about an hour and serve it then. I suggest fresh whipped cream. Have a great Thanksgiving.